How do you meal plan efficiently and effectively? This is a question that I get asked all the time, and it's a lot easier than you might think. My name is Tiffany, and I am so excited you're here. I help busy millennials create healthy meals and minutes without stress and overwhelm. And for those adults wanting to indulge just a little bit every once in a while, I also offer beverage pairing recommendations with quick, easy recipes. If you are ready to learn how to create the perfect beverage pairing experience, comment below with wine and I will hook you up with my free food and wine pairing guide. And while you're down there, comment below, say hi, where you're watching from, and hit that share button to share this with your friends on social media so they can learn these five meal plan secrets that every busy person should know. Now first, I wanna talk about a myth. Most people think that in order to meal plan efficiently and effectively, they need to have a lot of time, money, and energy. And that's not the case. All you need is a consistent strategy following these five secrets and you will be meal planning in minutes every week stress-free. So the first one is to be consistent. Set aside five, 10, maximum 15 minutes every week, same day, same time, every week to make out your meal plan. So for us, this is usually on Tuesday. That's often when we get all of the grocery store ads that are launching on Wednesday. And during our CSA season, that's when we find out what we're getting in our CSA box. So then we know what meat and produce we have to work with for our meal plan. Now by setting aside the same time every week, you know when you are going to be building that meal plan so you can then stick to it. When you do it enough times consistently, it becomes a habit and it turns into second nature. And you might even start to look forward to building that meal plan. Step number two, is to incorporate theme days. Some of our favorite theme days are Meatless Monday, Taste Buds Tuesday, Travel Thursday, Stir Friday, Slow Cooker Saturday, and Super Sunday. Now, you notice we don't have one for Wednesdays because we like to have at least one day in there every week that we can use for leftovers or go out for a date night or Sometimes you just don't feel like cooking and you grab that frozen pizza. Whatever the case may be, it's nice to have that flexibility in there. So choose three or four theme days and let the creative inspiration start flowing through you. By incorporating those theme days, it also takes the guesswork out of cooking because you have something to go off of to inspire you. Going along with that, leads right into tip number three, which is to try taste buds. Taste buds takes all of the guesswork out of cooking, plus it's delivered to your door. Now, if you are already a fan of taste buds, drop taste buds in the comments and share what your favorite seasoning or recipe has been so far. What I love most about taste buds is that it helps me in the kitchen, not just with planning what's for dinner, but it also gives me so much more tips, tricks, and inspiration for down the road. So in a nutshell, Taste Buds is three seasonings, each with a featured recipe around a different theme every single month that is delivered to your door. But in all honesty, it is a so much more than that. It is insider perks galore. So not only do you get those recipes and seasonings, but Every quarter, you get access to an exclusive seasoning that can't be found anywhere else. In the past, this has been a honey sriracha, garlic parmesan, which are now part of our permanent pantry line, thanks to the feedback and reviews of our Taste Bud subscribers. We also have had a savory maple, and most recently was a crispy garlic crunch. Seriously, best thing ever on chicken wings. Fingers crossed that it becomes part of our permanent line soon. 
but that is one of the great benefits of taste buds is you get to try those before anyone else and then share your feedback if you think it should become part of a permanent line or not. Now also with our insider perks, you get exclusive access to our taste buds hub with endless recipe inspiration. So this is appetizers, main courses, side dishes, dips, desserts, snacks, you name it, everything is right there. Simply search for a seasoning and you have got ideas right there of recipes that come together in about 30 minutes or less. Perfect for those busy weeknights. And our fourth tip is to incorporate family favorites. Now, when you have new recipes from Taste Buds or new recipes from those theme days, it's important to have family favorites on your meal plan so that way your family especially those picky eaters, have something that they can look forward to that they know they already love and enjoy. And if you do have picky eaters, and Rituals is a great way to boost the nutrition in those recipes without changing the flavor or the texture. And if you're using pea protein or super veggie, you're not gonna notice a color difference either. Perfect for picky eaters, or even just those recipes that you're wanting to boost the nutrition a little bit with either some protein, fiber, or some hidden vegetables. And the last tip to help you meal plan in minutes is to repurpose your leftovers. Now, previously I mentioned we like to have at least one day every week with nothing on the meal plan to help us repurpose those leftovers or if we just don't feel like cooking. So some of my favorite ways to repurpose is with taco meat. So double that batch of ground meat when you're making tacos and you can then repurpose the leftovers into nachos, enchiladas, taco salad, or store it in the freezer and thaw it later on a rainy day when you just don't feel like cooking. If you find yourself with extra steamed veggies, those are great to repurpose in a fried rice or into stir fry. Hence why we often incorporate stir Friday into our meal plan, especially in the summer months, because you never know what veggies we're gonna have left from the CSA or from our garden. So I would love to know which of these tips is your favorite, which one are you going to incorporate first? Drop it in the comments below, and while you're there, comment wine to grab your free food and wine pairing guide and share this video with your friends so they can start saving time with meal planning right away.